Hello, welcome to this little video series on Sonic Pi. My name is Ben Marx. I'm from Esslingen University of Applied Sciences, from the Faculty of Management and Technology. That would be that one, HTTPS, www, oops, hsslingen.de slash wt. Wt is actually German, Wirtschaft und Technik, meaning management and technology in English. Today I start a little series about learning a bit of programming. I hope the fun way with Sonic Pi. I don't know yet how many videos there will be, but we'll start out with some very, very basic stuff and I hope we can cover some of the more advanced things soon. So that you can do things like this, for example. Let's see here, I have some buffers prepared. more chill out music some bass and melody or let's stop that one and go to buffer number three that's kind of a spheric intro sound or Number six, that's tone wheel organ. You can see here. Better known as a Hammond organ. Or if you want something which is less relaxed. Here we go. Okay, let's go back to this buffer number four here. I'll try to post uh, the code that I write here on GitHub. I hope I'll be really uh, up to date with that. That would be HTTPS, www, no, no, GitHub dot com uh, I'm level XX there Sonic Pi video whoop, series and that is the address on GitHub so you can find the code for each of the little videos that I uh, that I do here on GitHub and download it from there so you don't have to retype everything if you want to do or want to try out and modify etc yeah they'll be quite basic at the very beginning so well also it's best if you just hack along while you watch this or in the breaks you can get sonic pi here that's uh, https as well sonic pi dot net You'll find the download links there for Mac, for Windows, for Raspberry Pi. And uh, you find there as well a very good text-based tutorial. Well, let's go then. Um, I'm working at a university, so I think learning is a good thing and it's good to know things. And um, well, I also think that more people should know how computers work. And telling computers what to do, that's actually programming. But uh, programming can be a little bit boring, a little bit dull, like things like calculating the product of two numbers and printing it on the screen. There are several approaches to programming that have a long learning curve until you really get something that is an kind of an interesting result. <coughs> That's different with uh, Sonic Pi because here music is the subject and I think most of us like music in some way. 
and if you also like to be creative and create your own music and then you can learn programming the fun way just while you while you make music sonic pi has been invented and created by sam aaron who is really a software magician he wrote it originally for children to learn programming but while it is still apt for that purpose uh, it can be used for many more things like uh, for example for live coding we come to that sonic pi has more than six million lines of code now compared to the 27 million lines of code of the linux kernel that is quite an impressive number for an open source project not all of course but much of it has been coded by sam and there are more contributors contributors like it is common in open source projects this is an open source project and my humble self also i have made some minor contributions sam is also a live coder a music performer and you can find him on youtube look for sam sam aaron sonic pie because otherwise you might find other sam aarons but if you find the uh, some music performer with pink backgrounds and uh, that's that's him and uh, quite uh, techno music that that'll be him now let's stop fussing and start coding let's write our first program that would be something like this let's go let's clear the buffer and write something like this play 60 so and then we hit run we have a run button here you will see that sometimes that this code is uh, executed magically auto magically this is because i hit a, a shortcut uh, which would be alt r but for the time being i hit the run button with the mouse click and this is what you hear so just one word and one number bomb and we have the first sound and we have our first program this is a program it contains one statement only one command with one parameter so but it is one program also so that's quite an achievement for only five minutes of tutorial 